Okay, so that right there is the, uh, it's got, uh, both, it's got the two, uh, the first two coils on it. The third one I haven't wound yet, um, but the only, the, only the first coil is operational right now. Um, mainly because of the fact that I don't have a, I don't have a switching, I don't, the, uh, that, I don't have a way of switching the second and third coils right now. So, but, we have a 12 volt battery that'll be used for the inverter that I'm, uh, getting. Um, it's just the 12 to 100, 120 volt inverter. But right now I've got this. Alright, this is your wall power through one of these plugs. That comes in through this light, which then goes to this switch, which then goes back to this, which is a voltage doubler circuit. It takes the 120 volts and turns it into 340. That then goes into these three banks. It's actually only under this one right now, but um, which then is fed through the relay to this switch, back, uh, t back to the relay, activating it, switching on this coil, which then propels the projectile forward, obviously. So, for the projectiles, I got four different ones here. Um, we have just the regular blank. We have a... We got one of these, kind of in a bullet shape. Just a dull, blunt type thing. Uh, we got this one, which comes out to a sharper point, but it's still pretty dull. And we got this one, which is a really sharp point. Um, I can't find the actual ones I made for shooting. This was a this was a uh, a failed attempt at sharpening. So, um, but it still works. For targets, I'll be shooting. I'll be showing th shooting through a milk jug a pop can and uh, this is uh, eight pieces of thick paper eight pieces it's it, it, it's essentially eight pieces of paper but it's the really thick stuff it's like for making cards and stuff so it's about ten pieces of regular paper um so what I'm gonna do first is we'll just uh... first we'll plug it in here and uh... so that's all plugged in now put the projectiles down here <laughs> And we'll put this in here. And as you can see, the light turns on as it charges up. It dims down. As you can see. Okay. And fire. So, as you can see, it's pretty... Pretty amazing, um, for the most part. Um, charge it up again here. And so, but that's that one. So then we'll go with this one. Charge up here. And uh, why don't we shoot it in a 9 volt battery? Okay. As you can see, it leaves quite a good mark. It, it's actually, uh, it actually did break into the inside of the battery, but can't really see it with the camera. So, um, okay, we're done with those two. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to shoot this one now. Um, this one is pretty cool. Um, charge this up here real quick. And, uh, we'll shoot at, uh, we'll just shoot at a sponge here. Um, so, yeah, pretty much. Um, so now we'll shoot through the milk jug. Put the sharpened projectile in there. Make sure it's off. Charge it up to 300 volts. Okay. Set the camera right here. It's a little hard to see. I apologize, but uh, let me fire. Huh? Didn't actually go through. I might have had it in wrong. Hang on. Fire again. Let's do it this way. Fire. Okay. Alright, so it doesn't want to go through the milk jug. But, I'm pretty sure that it will go through the pop can. I mean, I know it will. So, um, anyways, fire. And as you can see, it went in, it went out, and it went over here somewhere. Not entirely sure where, though. Do you guys see it?
Cause I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Okay. So now that we know that it can shoot through that, now we'll shoot through paper. Paper is kind of interesting. And I'll charge it up here. Okay. And there's the camera right there. And take the paper and oops, put it like this. And fire. Okay. Um. As you can see, it pretty much went through. Um. It's kind of dulled because I didn't blue the tip on this one. So um. I'll make some more videos as soon as I find some more stuff to shoot. Um, so, but yeah, that's pretty much just the f little bit of setup I got, the little setup I got here. I'll make a video of the second stage shooting uh, as soon as I find a way to switch it. So, um, pretty much, but until then, peace.